Lesson 9.3, Advanced Equation from a Graph or Features. So sometimes when we look at these curves, it looks like it's going in reverse order. And um, this could happen to both sine and cosine. And it occurs when we have a horizontal reflection. Please write that in that first box. So if we have a reflection over, a horizontal reflection is over the x-axis, then it kind of looks like the order of our sine or cosine curve is reversed. The other thing is to get a horizontal reflection, there is a negative sign out in front of the function itself. So we're just gonna watch out for that. This lesson is all about a few advanced features from our previous lesson. We still need to, number one, find the midline. We have to find the amplitude. We find the frequency. Remember to find the frequency is we take two pi divided by the period. Um, and then the last thing is if the order of the curve is reversed and we're using our mnemonic devices, so ho low for sine. Um, and then we're using cholo for cosine, okay? So let's get into a few problems. So in this particular example here, I look on the, uh, um, I look at the starting spot on the y-axis right here, and I'm going to start with this point right here. It now goes down. So this point is going down. I know that it is the sine curve and the sine curve is so low. So low. So it starts at the origin and then goes high. Looks like this is being reversed. If this is the midline of my graph, it's starting here and going down. Let's just see if it is my midline. So it's going down one, two, three units comes back to the origin or the midline, and then goes up one, two, three units to this high point. And before returning here, after this, this is a repetition. It's going down, up, and then back to our origin. So there is one repetition of this curve. We can find a few of these features from it. The midline is at one, so I can fill that in there. The amplitude, we talked about that, is at three, up three units. Midline is at y equals one. And then the frequency. So the frequency, remember, we find the period, starts at zero, ends at two pi. So the frequency is two pi divided by the period. In this case, is two pi. So my frequency is one. And the last thing is if the order is reversed, we need to put a negative sign in front of the amplitude. So if I use this as my example right here, it's going to be y equals the amplitude. So as I adjust my amplitude here, I know my amplitude was three, that goes out front. And then um, we talked about it being a negative sign here because of it going in reverse order. Instead of origin high, it went origin low. So there's a negative sign here. So negative three, we have the sign. And this is now, we're gonna put the frequency next. So the frequency, we found the frequency here. The frequency is one, so it's one X or just X. And then um, plus the midline. So in this case, my midline, I found up here, my midline was one final, final, right here. Final, 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 heart it or box it. Let's just take a look at another one here. This is one that we call this level three. Our steps are still the same. I'm gonna start here. Let's go through one complete cycle. Use this cosine, C-H-O-L-O-H, -O -O high, origin, low, origin, high. And that looks like what it is starting at. So this order is not reversed, starting high, goes through the origin to low, back through the origin, ending on high before it repeats. Okay, so amplitude, let's count that amplitude is one, the cosine, and now we need the frequency. So to find the frequency, we take two pi divided by the period. Here, it's a little bit trickier. It starts at zero, 
because I'm starting on the y-axis, and ends at 2 pi over 3. So what in the heck? I'm sorry, 2 pi over 5. So I need to divide these two. And if you remember how we do division using a fraction, we don't cry, we invert and multiply. So what that means is we take this fraction and we multiply it by this fraction inverted. Okay, so let's just be careful here. So if we multiply these two, I'm gonna make this first one into a fraction, two pi over one, we'll multiply the tops, that's 10 pi, we'll multiply the bottoms, that's two pi. You could probably cancel some of this out before we even got too much further. You could cancel them out right here, actually. And then you probably could have canceled out these twos and you'd just be left with five because two goes into 10 five times. So my frequency is five. So there's a five here. And then my midline, my midline is right here on this horizontal axis. That's y equals one. So my midline is one. This is called level three. So just a little bit spicier. Nothing that you guys can't handle, just a, a, a bit spicier here. We now are also going to write the function just given the features. So we are giving you just the features, not a graph at all. And if we take a look at this particular one here, we have the cosine function that has a midline of three and an amplitude of, and a period of two, three pi. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this. We know we're gonna use this setup, but um, is it just as easy as filling these in? Close, midline is three, we're gonna put a three here. Uh, amplitude is five, the amplitude goes here. And then this frequency, I just gotta compute it here. So the frequency is two pi divided by the period. In this case, the period is three pi. So two pi divided by three pi. Let's just simplify that a little bit here. That's two pi over three pi. These pi's you can tell are going to cancel. Final, final frequency is two thirds. Let's try one more. This one's a little bit spicier. Let's try this one here. In this particular problem, we are, let's write down. Okay, so we got the sign sine function, amplitude of two, let's put that right away. Amplitude of two, midline of minus three, negative three, and a period of four thirds. So the period is four thirds. To find the frequency, we're gonna take two pi divided by the period. All right, so we got two pi divided by that fraction. Remember what we said earlier, don't cry, invert and multiply. So you're gonna take and invert this second fraction and multiply it by this first fraction. We'll make that into a fraction here. So three fourths times that. What do we got here? We got six pi over four. We should probably simplify a little bit here because there's a common multiple of a two that goes into each of these. Final answer here is three pi over two. You can use the pi button on Delta math here and done deal. That's it for this lesson.